Yeah, it's supposed to be raining today, but uh, yeah, as you can see, Florida. Uh, so the car barely made it home. I mean, it was just chugging. And I'm going to start it, and you're going to you're going to see what I'm talking about when I start it. Hear that? Hear this? That's terrible. Barely running, right? Barely running. And I went, you know, that sounds familiar. So I, hit, I started hitting this right here. Yeah. Vacuum leak. So I got to change those vacuum hoses, of course. The one hose... The one hose is underneath there. Yeah. That's not fun. That's not funny. That's not fun. I saw it's up in here. It's leaking. And that hose is like jelly. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Modern cars, but they still have old car problems. Well, not really. It's a 30-year-old car, but it still has an old car problem. A vacuum leak will always do this. That's why the car would run at 3,000 RPM fine, but the idle was terrible. Okay, so. Comment on this type of thing, because uh, we have all had this happen. All right, so now the fun part. I got to take the intake manifold boot off. Uh, the... Uh, yeah, because I can't get my hand underneath. This. I'm going to take this all apart. <laughs> I have smaller hands, and this is scary tight. <laughs> all right, so here is... The hose, um, yeah, I mean, that doesn't even look, that's, that's yuck. I mean, it, it, it literally feels like jello. Everything is in the way. <laughs> I literally can't see what I'm doing. I thought the E30 had weird um, vacuum lines, but now time to get the surgical tools out. These are hemostats. These are really, really great for doing this because honestly, let me show you where I'm trying to, to go. It's right down there. I think it's on all the way. It's, you can see it like right there. That's the line. Okay, let's see. Let's, um, let's see. This car's Maris airflow sensor is right there. So I technically should be able to run it without, without that in place. We'll find out. No, that doesn't sound any better. It's never a straight line. All right, let's see if I have to put the air box back in. I think I do. Let me shorten this hose up a bit. While we're here, we'll clean it with the mass airflow sensor cleaner.
probably gonna run like it's gonna run like garbage for the first minute or two because it's all sprayed. All right, let's clean your hands a little bit. See if it runs any better. Nope. And, and the saga continues. missing and check engine still on Wow. It's still chugging. The check engine went off. Oh. The check engine's gone off. It sounds like crap. Now it's running normal. It's idling nice now. All right, well, that's that. Well, that was quite the ordeal. Nothing like a vacuum leak underneath the intake manifold to make a, a fun experience. It's quite amazing that something so simple as a vacuum leak, you know, which is a byproduct of the engine running vacuum, and it's been harnessed to make things work on the engine. When that starts leaking, it's quite fun to see what it does because, honestly, I thought I lost the coil pack. I thought a position time, a sensor had gone bad. I had a whole list of things. So it was the last 15 miles coming home. This thing was chugging and unable. I was unable to start it under 2,000 2, RPM. I could not get this car rolling off the line. 
So with a lot of hard work and a lot of grease and a lot of uh, skinned hands, it got fixed. You know, I don't want to hear about your wonderful experiences, so please comment when you have these types of weird things happen. I enjoy that very much so. I love your comments. You know, and thank you once again for also watching and subscribing because, you know, it's nice that I'm reaching milestones and I feel like I feel the energy from people subscribing and commenting and watching these videos of my insane obsession with cars, which has been my hobby since I've been able to actually <laughs> to actually understand what a car is because I love all cars. I mean, granted, I kind of now just have BMWs and Chryslers, but hey, uh, you know, if you got something from this, you know, you know, like it, tell your friends, share it to them. And if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe. You know, and if, as always, again, comment because I love the comments. They're fun. And uh, thank you once again. And I hope everything's going good for you. And if you have a cool car or a classic, please take it out because you'll make someone's day, including your own. And I'll catch you down the road.